Thanks. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Sorry, Mom. <laughs> Stinks. I'm sorry for all of us. That royally stinks. In COVID. You're gonna have to bleep that out. <laughs> we are world towning. Jessica, Will, Avalon, and Largo. Our family has been traveling the world since 2014 until COVID hit. Rather than return to the US, we decided to buy a boat and learn to sail in France. Hit the subscribe button and join us every Friday when we share our stories as a liveaboard family while experiencing cultures from around the world. We have planned to be a sailing family for a really long time. We were so sure that it was going to happen that we coined the eventual transition to liveaboard life as our endgame. Welcome to your new home. Someday. Someday. Dreams start here and they start early. But it was always far enough upon the horizon that we never felt the sense of urgency required to clear our schedules, arrange proper instruction, and get everything else perfectly aligned for this new life. The best part about doing repairs. Oh my we... gosh, what is this? <gasps> what is that? Oh my god. Ah! It's on the white stuff. What is that? Oh my god. What is that? What we have learned over our first two months on board is that managing boat upgrades, setting up technicians for boat repairs, figuring out how things work, and maintaining a functioning family dynamic is no small feat. This is actually rather therapeutic, and I think it's going to build up my muscles. As we approach this week, which is scheduled to culminate with the kickoff of our nine-day sail-away course, there is a ton to take care of. But as we are total newbies to sailing and with the insanity that has been 2020, we are quickly realizing that there are unfortunately certain things that are out of our control. Join us as we do the final touches on getting ready for our sailing lessons. Spoiler alert, this one doesn't have a storybook ending, kind of like 2020 so far. Welcome to our final couple days until we actually got to go sailing. sailing. Got to go sailing. <laughs> we sound like it's a chore. Listen, we've been waiting for this moment for so long. Ever since we got the boat about two months ago, we've been saying, when are we going to leave the dock? When are we going to cast off the lines? And we're finally just a couple of days away from sailing off. The hard part right now is just making sure everything is taken care of and done and ready to go. And we're in the crunch time. Right, so we have a lot to do. We're doing lessons on board our own boat, which is what we've been advised to do since day one. But the problem is, is that the sailing instructor says that we need so much gear on board to, whoa, to get, to, to get, to get all of our, 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 all of the training that we need, which is great because it's always good to have all the safety equipment. And there's a lot of stuff that we can get here at the marine shops, but there's also some things they just don't have that are more specific. So we have been taking full advantage of our concierge service. Right, so <laughs> with only about four days to go, we have to do some package delivery stuff, some Amazon stuff that has to show up. And basically this is how we roll. We take our bikes out with our baskets on the back and we load them up with all the stuff that gets shipped in. Oh, I almost hit you, holy crap. That would have been funny on video, wouldn't it? <laughs> and look at this lady coming with her dog in the front. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that's so cute. <laughs> I think we could do that with the kids. We've been making a lot of trips this week. Yeah. Alright, let's see what the haul is here. I always look at the biggest one because that's usually ours. Is that ours? Nope, it's not. Okay. This one right there. Mm. That's really small. I must say, well, this is not much of a haul today. Hope we can fit it in our basket. We have, uh, there's two of us. Listen, we're, we're not, we don't, we don't come to these things just to go ahead and pick up packages. These are our date morning afternoons for our Date morning. <laughs> and so, uh, yeah, we try and optimize as much as possible our efforts. And if we can go ahead and get like a little business lunch, uh, what are we doing next lunch? During uh, these pickups of packages, pickups of packages, I think we're we're in good shape. The kids think that we pick up packages every day. Usually, we just tell them that. We don't get that many packages. <laughs> Okay, so these are the boxes that we've gotten so far, as you can tell. 
some of them been opened already. We had to get into some of the stash. What have we got here, Largo? I honestly have no idea. We have no idea. Okay. The first thing we have, and this is all like safety related for this glassware in there too, for our boat is an EPIRB. Now this is one of the things that we did not have on this boat prior to getting on board. Um, these things are spicy. Look at that. We also got some spices as well. But this is going to give us the ability to be tracked all around the, the sea, I guess, if anything ever bad happens to us. Very, very important piece of safety material that we're going to require ourselves to have because our instructor said that we have to have this. So there you go. Uh, the next thing is... Shoot! I dropped it! You did not drop it. Uh, next thing is a handheld VHF radio. We did not have a handheld VHF radio. We're taking the VHF course on board as well. So one of the things that we want to have with us as we count down to when the instructor comes is one of these to play with before he shows up. Uh, we have a standard horizon already on board as like the main sort of boat VHF radio. We're keeping it in the family because we heard they're good. I don't know. I hope they're good. And we have this. And this. And we have more spices. Largo. How much spice can we eat in this family? Me? Not really this. Not, not really not this. Really. What else do we have? We have a whole bunch of other this, stuff here. This and this. We have more. We have so our Los Angeles roots. We have our Cholula sauce. Um, I highly recommend Cholula sauce if you like spicy goods. We have flashcards for Spanish, Avalon for school. Um, we've got a little portable digital antenna. This is not safety related. It's not boat related. It actually goes onto the boat. Our TV, the antenna is not necessarily working too well. So we bought this one to see if it's the antenna or the TV. Nevertheless, we're going to figure out whether this is. No and idea what this is. is a little USB stick to make it work. What else do we have, Largo? We've got books. Mm -hmm. Whoa. The Competent Sailor Book. Um, this is the book that we ordered. It is a book that talks about knots and so forth and so on. Um, a good book to have, we've been told, on Facebook groups. So we have it. Uh, other books on here. We have the Marine Diesel Engines, because I know nothing about Marine Diesel Engines. A little light, not a little light reading before you go to bed. Margo, what are you doing? Cutting open boxes. What are you doing? A simple boat maintenance book. We are, once again, we're learning. This, we have books for that. I know there's YouTube videos for everything, but if you're out in the water, you can't necessarily pull up a YouTube video. Plus, I think this is probably a little bit more my speed. I can I can pause this however I like. Largo, what are you doing? You're killing me. And then finally, how boat things work. I have a feeling there's going to be a lot of redundancies between all these books, but I like to think that... Um, you know, you can never learn too much about boats. Everything we've been told by you guys in the comments is that be prepared because if you're not, that's when it comes to bite you. So that is what we have. All right, we don't have a satellite radio. Our instructor is bringing with him his, his Garmin inReach. Um, I am quite frankly a little disturbed by what's happening here, but I'm, I'm debating between the Garmin inReach and the Iridium Go. Iridium Go is a better rig. Um, I think that's what, the way we're gonna do it, but I'm, I'm curious as to how the, the Garmin inReach works. So I'm super excited about how that's gonna work out next week. All that being said, stuff, stuff we gotta get, stuff we still have to get. This is all part of the process. This is all the glory of doing it on our, on our own boat because once we know that we have it working, it's ours. We, it's not like we're going on someone's day skipper boat and then we come back to ours going, what was that rope? Okay, Margo, I'm glad, I'm glad you were here for this. This was, this is a great father-son moment. What are you doing? We, I'll be right back. I don't know why I'm so nervous. Something can't be undone. <laughs> With the packages coming in fast and furious, we felt like we had just a little bit of wiggle room to put our channel branding onto Friendship, which we had delivered a week ago. You guys might have heard me say that I was formerly a graphic designer. And although I learned right about the time computers were becoming really popular for graphic designers, I actually went back and had an internship where I cut color for a newspaper and several other things and worked in a sign shop when I was in um, college. So I understand a little bit of how to do this, but it's been a very long time. So we're gonna let me take a stab at this, even though the people that did them said for 50 euros, they'd put it on for us. I said, okay, we can do that. We can save the 50 euros. So it's been a while though. like 
30 years a while. <laughs> so wish me luck. So the idea is to tape it, to put it on where you want it and tape it on there. Oh, did I put the right side? I did. Okay, so tape it on there and then peel off part of a side. Whoops, I don't need that. Part of a side and then burnish. So you peel it back, you put this from behind and then you stick this down and then you burnish it across like this and then peel off the last layer. All right, I feel a little bit of anxiety right now. It's been a long time since I've done this. So you go like this. Oh gosh. <laughs> Then you peel off a piece of this and you roll it out like this. And as you're rolling it, you need to use this side of the tool and burnish it across like this. I tend to get a little aggressive with things like this and just argh, push too hard. And I know if it's just off by a centimeter, every single time I come up on these steps, I'm gonna complain. It's looking pretty good though. You think so? Uh, I have no idea. <laughs> we'll find out soon enough. <laughs> All right, here we go. Let's see if it comes off. Oh, thank God. Oh, uh, look at that. Oh. It's like a professional did it. I am a professional. I just did the design and adhered it. I definitely didn't print it. There's nothing that makes me happier than something beautifully designed, if I do say so myself. Well, I actually didn't create the logo. I hired someone to do that because I couldn't be objective, but. Missy. Well, part of the piece didn't come off. There we go, there we go, there we go. Okay. You'll be proud of mom. She did a great job. Okay. All right, here's where it gets tricky. <laughs> it's tricky. Because I need fingernails. Tricky. Oh boy. Tricky. Um. Uh, that's gonna have to be, that's gonna have to be because I need to burnish it. No, um, it's not. I don't it's gonna have to be. No, it's a bit slightly to the left. I know, but it's not gonna move now. I don't have a choice. Well, <sighs> unless anyone watches this vlog, they're never gonna notice. <laughs> that's the joy of, of, of and details. If someone comes on this boat and points to this and say, I know it's crooked, I'm gonna throw them overboard. Okay. You realize someone's gonna actually say that. <laughs> just because you said that. <laughs> I know, right? It's right here, so you know it's on the starboard side when you come up, up the steps. So if you say it's the port side, I'm gonna know you're just trying to mess with me. Now our goal is not to rename Friendship, but we feel like we're giving her a bit of a makeover, world towning style. What do you think of this one? I think that works. I'll I just, just stand back a bit. Listen, the woman said in the beginning that you cannot do this in the wind, and the wind's starting to pick up a little bit. I know, I know, okay. Let me step it back, I know. I think we need the kid's opinion. All right, what do you think about the placement? Is it good? Yeah, it's fine. Oh, that it looks like, look straight. it looks like it could like eventually get washed off. It won't, it's the same as all the other stuff that's on the boat. No, I think it's, uh, maybe it could have been a bit smaller. Don't say that to mom. <laughs> She's the one who wanted it smaller. You were right, mom. Too big or too small, we decided to move forward with the placement and started with the application. Oh now that we have the first one under our belt, this one seemed a bit more manageable. Ideally, we would want to do this when we were hauled out, but there's no time or budget for that, so we may do. The colors are good. All right. Oh, wow. It's beautiful. That Look was more that. stressful than I thought it was going to be, and both of my feet are soaked. Listen, we just saved ourselves $50 from the one back check. <laughs> exactly. We should take ourselves out to dinner. It looks great, I think. Yeah, I think it looks great. Let's go have a beer. With that done, we got the courage to do the boom branding, even though the winds were picking up a bit. Look at this. Look at you, Jess. You look like an old-time mariner at this point. I do. I'm freezing like a now. Scruffy old sailor. Freezing. It got cold so fast. Because all you need is now like 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 some some razor stubble on your face. I might have some of that. <laughs> I think snow is coming. I don't think it feels it's like snow. Like do you like that placement or do you think it should be further on this end? No, I think you're good. I'm good. And Wait, we don't... Let, let's take for a moment, let's just marvel at our bimini top right over there. It's yeah. so nice. It's nice dirty, but it's clear. You're right. All right, here we go. Oh. We, don't, we should like harness in at this point. We should learn that being on a boat means like we have to like make sure that we don't fall in the water. But we're, we're doing okay. I need a hot coat. 
I think one of the things that we're starting to figure out is that developing self-confidence on a boat is a long, slow process. And with respect to boat projects, you start with what you're good at, then you move on to more uncomfortable items. And as we were only days away from lessons, we were starting to get the feeling that we could actually do this and not make fools out of ourselves. There you go. Look at that. Yay. So absolutely like a little bump there. Everyone always has a little bump. And a little smooth. Not that much. It's just, it's just the old. And the then like a little bubble there. Uh, there's. I think I you should be it, proud of yourself. It looks pretty good, doesn't it? What do you think, Abzi? Mm. You said that about all it's, of them. I don't know. It's hard to see. Plus, I can see these tiny little perfections. Oh gosh, don't no. They're making me mad, honestly. They're yeah. like aggravating. You are your mother's daughter. It was aggravating me too. Dad's like, it's fine. Last piece of the branding puzzle and Largo has volunteered to help me. He's got his, he's got his board over here and he's, I'm going to hand it down to him. We're going to level it together and hopefully we can make this work. What do you think Largo? Can we do it? It'll work maybe, probably not. Are you really escaping from the boat from, from the very front? Do you think I can get down this way? It's not yeah, very you safe. Just have you know to hold that. on to this climb down and down. Largo, I'm not 12. Yeah. You have to have a lot of upper body strength. I hope this thing is meant to... Oh. None of what you have. What? what? <laughs> Listen, don't be getting fresh. Okay, slide me this way. <laughs> well, this is quite entertaining. Yes. I hope I don't fall in. Okay. I think this one's going to be a miracle. <laughs> <laughs> All right, the lesson I learned from this is that... I don't think you should hold on to these for any period of time once you get them from the printer because there's a lot of glue involved and they don't seem to want, the longer they sit on the paper, they don't seem to want to come off as easy and they stick to the wrong side of the paper. So that's my assessment. This one, on, one went on really, really difficult and there's all kinds of creases in it on the white part, which is okay, um, but it made it challenging to get it on compared to the others and I think it's just, I think it's just kind of worn now, if that makes sense. You know what I'm realizing though? What? You guys forgot your safety jackets. Oh, I think we'll be okay. I don't think it's over our head here. I think mom should have used it better. Unless I bump my head, I think I'm gonna be okay. Largo's gonna save me, right Largo? Mm, maybe. It's coming off okay. It is. Listen, don't, don't, don't. Don't, don't despair. Don't knock it before it's over. I think it's crooked. It's okay. And with the branding done, not that that was a key part of preparing for a sailing adventure, but for us it was, there was a few more things that we had to square away. We needed to get our water pump fixed and eventually replaced so that we could have running water. That's a whole other story. All the while as we were finishing our theory class in advance of the practical course. Welcome to your stop. Full delivery service. Home sweet home. How'd that go? It went really well. I just don't want to fall in today because it's freezing. Are we you put happy the other with side of the logo on Avalon. Are you happy with the final result? I'm very happy with it. Yeah, I'm super happy. I'm so glad it's done because that was taking up a lot of space in the, R in the RV. In the <laughs> in the but there's one thing that we could not prepare for and could not take care of at the last second with a late night working session. It's the fact that in France, the incidence of COVID-19 were growing at substantially larger rates and the country was strategically and aggressively implementing curfews in the growing hotspots. As the restrictions started to grow, we got this telephone call. Um, so, so is your, I'm so bummed that we have to cancel. <laughs> I, under, I understand. I mean, this is kind of the story of everyone's life right now with COVID and everything happening. So I totally understand. And we were hoping it wouldn't come to this, but we were, we saw the news last night and I said to Will, I've got to, we were having something fixed on the boat this morning. I said, I'm going to need to send Brad an email if he hasn't seen it, which I figured you had and, and discuss it with you. So Yeah, right, right. And I mean, of course, I think the safety of everyone as well as others is, is the most important. Um, and, and we're very, very committed to that. You know, we're always wearing our masks and everything. And we obviously believe this is real. We don't think it's a hoax or anything. Um, okay, so what what is your schedule like in the sense, like w our schedule is, is, the, is the way it is, is that if you say, I'm coming tomorrow, we will be ready. Um, you know, so, so, Mm -hmm. 
Okay. So let me let me chat with Will. I don't want to make a decision without him. He's listening here. He's crying right now, so I'm going to have to console him. <laughs> Every everyone's listening and everyone's crying. I'm not trying to lay guilt on you. I totally understand. So please don't take it as such. Um, and we've been working so hard to like get, learn everything, get the boat ready, planning our meals and stuff. But I totally, totally understand. So I'm not not trying to lay any guilt here. Even though I was raised Catholic, but I'm I don't do the guilt thing. So, um, um, okay. So let me talk it over with Will. I, I suspect Will will rather than forego a full refund. One would want will want to kind of hang on. And and when you say it's a go, we just go. Um, but le let me let me um, discuss discuss that with him, and I'll get you an answer um, today. So, just like that, our instructor dropped upon us probably the last thing we wanted to hear. Now, how did this all go down and what's next? Well, let's grab a cup of coffee and break it all down. Wow, that was heavy, right? Did anyone see it coming? We kind of felt like it was going to come to this. <laughs> That's why we're hurrying to get the sailing lessons in. Listen, we, 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 we have a boat. We live on a boat. We're on boats more than people in this marina. Yet we can't sail, and everyone else can. This is this is not a very positive situation for us. Right now, we're falling into the statistic that we have heard, and I haven't fact-checked this: that 90% of boats don't even leave the dock, and then the of the other 10%, most of them go out on day sails, and there's like two or three percent that actually leave the area and go from location to location. And we don't want to be in that 90% statistic. So, no. basically, a recap: class Co was canceled. Ca class is canceled. COVID is on the rise. And we're stuck again. And we're bummed. And we're, we're super we're, bummed. We're super bummed. I don't think we should get too much into the emotional part because one of us might cry. We have, listen, Halloween's coming really soon. So we're going to have candy coming up. So that yeah. may be our, our emotional support right there. So Will and I, how we roll is we don't let the too much get us down. So for, I guess, a weekend, we stopped our studying. We ate a lot of candy. We drank some wine. Um, what else did we do? We, we didn't do the, anything else. We too. watch the news to the extent that we can in French. We watch the English subtitles essentially, and we wallowed in our sorrow. And we started to ask ourselves, what is the possibility of the next step? Now, our instructor is taking proper precaution precautions because his his wife is she high is risk. high risk, and so we don't want to put anyone at risk in this whole situation because you know you don't want anyone to get hurt. We are in full support of his decision. Absolutely, we want to keep people safe and alive. So, right. so that doesn't his, mean we're not bummed. <laughs> right. No, but his solution though, and sorry for for. Oh. <laughs> I, did I you keep interrupt interrupting. Me? I did, I did, I did. You know, guys, I just want to stay for the record that Will interrupts me too. He just <laughs> edits that out to make me look In this bad. part, I really can't edit that, so I'm going to keep it in. But nevertheless. You interrupt me all you want. Thank you, honey. I don't care. I know. But that's, that's, thank you. <laughs> so when we are talking with Brad, when we were talking with Brad, he basically said, our instructor, he said that you can come up to us because where he's at is, is very low risk right now. The numbers are not high there. And, and he's in Brittany. And he's in Brittany, which which has super high tides. And he thought, what a great opportunity for you to go ahead and learn tides as well. Because where, we're, where we are at in the south, in the med, there's zero tides. And so one of the parts of learning the, the, instruct, the instruction is learning how to manage tides we would essentially be missing it out. We'd be like simulating it, saying, pretend you're pretend. going this way. And, 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 and listen, silver linings everywhere, but the, the thought of actually doing the lessons not on our boat just did not jive for us. I mean, we were entertaining it today. for a little bit. Yeah, we were entertaining it because, guys, we want to learn to sail. So we were thinking, okay, will we make a compromise on this or that? And if we if we compromise learning on his monohull, we'll get the tides. And so we were weighing everything, making lists, making checks, you know, all this kind of stuff. Right. So all the while, we, we were still looking at what other options exist. And we then glanced upon the RYA website, which said that there's other sailing schools in the vicinity that may or may not be open. Give them a call, see what happens. And there happened to be one in in Spain. In Spain. In Spain. Just not like, too far like from about here. three and a half hours south of us by, by Barcelona. And we called them up and they said, yeah, we can actually do this. They can actually send someone to us. <laughs> to us. And then send that skipper, the captain, whoever, back to, to Spain to go With to their home, their home port. And then we can do our lessons from there. And we thought... And then they sail back with us. And so then they'll we sail get a lot back. of days. Right. So we would be getting the equivalent, the equivalent, if not more days of sailing. Than what we initially planned. Than what we initially planned for a little bit more. But you know what? In desperate times, desperate And matters. I was kind of hoping maybe on the way back, I'm assuming since we would be trained, that the person transporting us would be really cool and say, you know what? I'm just going to sit right here and I'm only going to stand up when I say you're doing something really wrong. So it would be almost like our 
own three-day sale. Maybe we'd sail through the night and do watches and stuff like that to really get great experience. And we were all for this, and but this was going to work. And we changed gears, and we said to the kids, okay, sailing's back on now. Hurry up and finish your studies. But then the numbers kept on rising here in France, and now we are faced with a lockdown the, the, the actual borders, not the borders, because I think they're keeping the European borders alive, yeah. but the actual France government, the actual France government, they the, are the instituting one. a mandatory lockdown for everyone in two days. Yeah. And that is going to be... The, our, our issue is this, is that we can probably still get to Spain, but then we can't come back. Which means our options have basically all gone away. I mean, we can, we can sail away on the dock if we want to sail away on our own and try and figure this out. Many people do that, but our insurance will not cover us if something happens. And it's really, it's really not safe. I mean, that sounds, and we really don't know what we're doing. Frankly, that's kind of, that, that would, would be kind of ridiculous be for us to do that. So, um, what are our options now? Um, or what are our options in a day when lockdown happens? I, th is I think, I think we have to just get used to our surroundings. Listen, we, we, we will find out more when the actual, like, decree comes out from the French government but the idea is you know we have to just sit and wait and be patient and, I mean, and be grateful for what we have more than anything yeah, else. Yeah I, I think that's really 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 important is to be grateful for what we have. We're on the boat we're happy with the boat there are plenty of things to keep us busy on this boat listen we're not sitting around twiddling our thumbs going oh we're so bored we have bundles of projects and jobs and school and work to keep us busy um, so Word on the street is that the lockdown, that we would not be able to actually leave the port and come back. It, once, the, once that happens, the ports are locked as well. So the option of maybe trying to find someone local here that spoke French and then have the kids translate, which was our last option because we really feel like we need someone who speaks English, um, wouldn't even be an option as well. So we're kind of here. Um, give us suggestions, guys. What do you, what do you think? Um, what, what should we do? I mean, we're, we're, it sounds like- I have things, an idea. Uh, you cut me off. Adventures of Disneyland. <laughs> That's what it's going to be at this point. We are... We're, <laughs> we're gonna be. I bet no one's vlogging that, right? Adventures of the Dinghy. I know. So, nevertheless, that, that's where we are, guys. And we have we have you guys to thank for all the comments that you're going to leave us because we know that there's going to be a lot of observations of what we can and can't right. do. I, and I'm looking forward to what you guys have to offer. I know... I'm going to be frank. We're not giving you much to work with. I know. I mean, it's... I know. So maybe... We can maybe build that spice rack. If you... <laughs> we can maybe do that. We can finally. build it ourselves. I don't know. We have to buy tools. Okay. I don't know. Um, give us your thoughts. Uh, we thank you for being here and sitting through yes. this. And, um, and we will we will definitely um, keep the, the midnight flame going as far as sort of sailing life because it, just because we're not moving doesn't, doesn't mean the life does not end. Doesn't mean the does, fun isn't still to be had. Doesn't mean the life ends. And we're sorry. We're sorry that we're not sailing. I know so many of you were looking forward to it, and we were super looking forward to it. And I feel like I feel like we've let you down, even though of no fault of our own. But here's the deal: we're committed to sailing, so we will get out there. Well, um, if we're not committed to sailing, I don't know why we bought a boat. I know. <laughs> we don't do well just sitting in stationary places. So okay, we're okay right now. But I think you know, if this goes more than a month, it might get ugly right. in here. So with that being said, we got to go. Thank you guys for joining us. Here we go. Ooh, look at all the Here we go. Mud on the boat. Here Ugh. we go. The artist is now leaving the building. <laughs> hey, bye, my tip. Ooh. You want a tip? Yes, money. Kissy, kissy. Uh, Wani, I'll let me go get you a euro, okay? Are you gonna keep going or are you coming back in? I'm coming back in. Okay.